Sweet rain of heaven. Come on, just back up. If you guys can back up to the grass there. I want to give a moment here. Got to put on my New Hampshire hat for this. This is what I say. Live free or die. You know what that means? He died so that you can live in total freedom. And there's people here today that are not living to the fullness of the freedom that he paid the price for. There's people here today, and we can stand here all day, we can pray, we can declare, but you know what? If we're not free, how are we going to free a state? If we're not free, how are we going to break off sex trafficking across a region? If we're not free, how are we going to bring freedom to an entire community that is wrapped in identity issues that doesn't know who they are? If we're not free, how are we going to heal marriages and restore homes? If you're here today and you know you're not totally free, and it could be like, man, you've never fully surrendered. It could be like, I've never fully given my yes. Or it could also just be, you know what, I've been battling with addiction. I've been battling with compromise. I'm battling with issues. You know what this is right now? This is a no shame zone. We don't want to leave here until everyone gets free. There's no shame. We all battle with things. We all battle with issues. But we're here today to see God release a freedom. Not just a political slogan, not just a state motto, but real freedom. So on the count of three, if you're here and you want freedom, and God is bringing this beautiful shower upon us, just for this moment, I want you to come down here. If you've never fully surrendered, or if you've battled, and you're like, you know what, today is another level, today is a new level of freedom in my life. On the count of three, I want you to come right down here and I want to pray with you. Come on, don't miss this moment. One. Come on. Two. Come on, three. Come on, come down. Come down from all over. Come on. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, do it in the rain. 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 Come on, just lift your hands to heaven. Come on, right here. This is perfect. Lift your hands to heaven. Come on, I know there's some more of you out there. Come on. Come down here. Don't miss this moment. (laughs) The rain of heaven. The rain of heaven. The rain of heaven. The rain of heaven. The rain of His presence is on your life. The favor of God is on your life. I just want you right here just to begin to confess. Come on, just begin to repent. Come on, right here, just use your own words. Come on, don't worry about this. This is perfect. Just begin to repent, begin to cry out, begin to thank Him for His mercy that's new every morning. Begin to thank Him for His freedom that's right here. Begin to thank Him for the rain. His love. <laughs> Rain is always a sign in the Bible of prosperity and goodness. And we thank you, Lord, for every heart up here right now, God, that you're raining down your love and your blessing. Come on, I want you guys, and and there's a few more out there. Come on, don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. Come up here and get free. Come on, I see you, brother. Come on, I see you, sister. Come up here and get free. Come on, you'll never never regret this moment. In front of the state capitol, in the rain, you fully surrender. Come on, I want you guys to extend your hands. To these folks up here and I want everyone to pray this after me 
Say, King Jesus. Come on, louder than that. Come on, King Jesus. As the rain falls from heaven, I receive your love. I receive your goodness. I receive your mercy. And today, I repent. Today, I ask you, forgive me for my compromise. Forgive me for my addiction. Forgive me for not living in total freedom. And right now, King Jesus, I give you my heart. I give you my everything. Take my old and give me your new. Come on, just begin to thank him. Come on, all over this place, just begin to thank him. Come on, just begin to begin to thank him. I just see addiction 
drug addiction, alcoholism in your family, you're struggling, it breaks off of you because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. If that's you, lift your hands. Come on. Don't be shy. If that's you, lift your hands. You got one right here, one back there. Come on, find somebody. If you have your hand lifted, one over there. Come on, if you've been battling that, today is your day of freedom. Today is your day of breakthrough. Come on, surround them. Begin to speak life over them. Begin to declare destiny, identity over them. There's some folks here. Come on. Today's a day of freedom. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I feel like there's also a few people, few women here that have battling infertility. This is something we don't normally speak, but I just heard the Lord say that. One right, right here. Who else? Come on, I heard the Lord say one right there. I heard the Lord say, sing, O barren woman. And I feel like here on the Capitol steps, God is going to release a breakthrough. Come on, anybody else is battling that? Anybody else who's battling infertility? Any couples? We've battled it. Me and my wife have battled seasons of it. I believe there's a breakthrough available here, right now in this atmosphere. We thank you for fruitfulness. We thank you, God, for sons and daughters. Millions of children. Manny, I get this on. You know, I want to share a quick testimony. Bill Faith here children, today. My I'm brother not. was diagnosed at 29 years old with a brain tumor, cancer in his in his brain. The doctor said he had eight months left to live. We begin to pray and intercede, and then the doctors they found this this thing. He went back months later, they found this thing where they're like, I don't know what it is, but there's something that we didn't catch before where we can begin these treatments. And my brother began to do these treatments and what went from an eight month diagnosis for him to die, went to he will live and not die. And not only that, but he was married one year and they wanted to have children and now they are holding an eight month old baby. 
I want to declare over you, I don't care what sickness is in your body, the blood of Jesus speaks a better word. I want to pray for you. If you are battling an incurable disease in your body, and all the doctors said that it's too late for you, if that's you, I want you to come to the front. I want to pray over you right now, because I believe that the Lord is going to heal you, just like he healed my brother. If that's you and you are battling an incurable disease and the doctors say that there's no hope, I want you to come to the front. Yeah, come up here, come up here, come up here. Those of you in the front, if you could just take What's one the name step of the back. Website? Those of you that, that you are battling What's the name an incurable of the disease and there's no other hope but um, Jesus, I want you to come stand right here in the front. What's the name of the website for that? Come on, I don't care what it is. Uh, Angel Studio. Some of you all, you're some Angel you struggling Studios. with diabetes and you're just like okay with it. I'm telling you, the sun has set free is free indeed. Do you understand? I'm talking about wholeness in your body. Sickness that you've dealt with for years and it's just become a normal thing for you I want you to come up here because I believe that the Lord is going to heal you tonight Hey You all you Come 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 on if that's you, come. With faith in your heart, come. Come. If that's you in the front and you're battling an incurable disease, Every doctor said there's no hope. Would you just lift your hand? Just the just the people that are up here for prayer for an incurable disease. The doctor says there's no hope. The only way is medication, whatever it may be. I want you to lift your hand high so I can see it. Lift your hand high in faith and say that's me. But as you raise your hand tonight, I also want you to declare over yourself, no more. That whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Come on, church. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. Would you extend your hands out to these people right now? And as the unified body of Christ, unified sons and daughters, church from all over New England, all over New Hampshire, we believe in faith. Begin to pray a prayer of faith over them right now. Hey, pastors and leaders, can you come stand with them, be with them? Come on right now. Come on. I don't care what it is. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. I speak over you right now. Those that are dead, battling incurable diseases. I speak to those to be diseases. Cancer. Diabetes. Lung issues. I see issues in the lung like breathing issues. Hey. I see blood issues, issues in your blood. Hey, come on, just lift your hands right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare freedom comes to you right now. Your key. 